Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadia. And this is a reading from my favorite, favorite, most favorite sign, Capricorn. So let's get straight into it. Yahweh, I come to you in prayer since you open up my third eye for Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me with off this reading, send them back to where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. And let's dig a little bit into your business. As well as other people's business as well. Let's get to it. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? If you have an animal, it is time to give them a flea shot or give them a bath in um, dial soap. Not dial soap. Is it dial soap? The blue one? Dial soap. You may have a flea problem or um, you have been experiencing little bites and stuff on you. It's because of your animals and it's time to give them a deep clean. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Mm. Capricorn, something going on with your health. This could be teeth. This could be um, um, your sexual um, or organs, just down there or whatever. This could be um, anything to do with your hair. Again, I'm just seeing hair, eyes, teeth and just down there like i'm not really getting you know anything anything too major when it comes to your whole ecosystem i'm just getting little things okay well um i'm seeing an abscess i'm seeing you know a cavity i'm seeing um gingivitis i'm seeing hair loss i'm seeing um dandruff i'm seeing um lice i'm seeing um a minor STD, a minor things like UTIs, a minor thing like a ward or something. I'm not really getting too much of bad things when it comes to your health. It's just some certain some things that you can just nip in the bud right now. But also I'm being told to tell you care more about your health, Capricorn. Care more about your health, Capricorn. You don't want to be sick in the house this summer, do you? Mm-mm. 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 So be careful with your health, Capricorn. Somebody wants to come and tell you how they feel, but they feel like the timing isn't right. They feel like, you know, you may instantly decline them, instantly just curve them. Yeah. You got somebody who want to come back and talk to you because they wish they treated you better. And, you know, they just feel like, you know, they messed up and they missed out on an opportunity to be with somebody as loving and as motivated as you. And they really feel like, you know, they messed up, but they, they feel like, you know, if they give it a little more time, if they come back on the right, on the right type of timing, then maybe you will, you know, accept them back into your life. But um, is this person somebody that's good for you? I don't know. That's up for you to, you know, figure out. But I feel like this is somebody who is not single, though. They may be in a relationship currently and they're just thinking back like, dang, I had the creme de la creme. And now... I just got a pudding. Pudding cup. Like I had the best. Now I'm I'm out here settling for less. <sighs> but this person they treat you better though because they're definitely not happy with the relationship they're in currently. Tell me more. What's up? What is this person's true, true hidden truth? That the timing wasn't right for you and this person was a liar you know they regret lying to you as well this person probably lied about being in a relationship or even wanting something serious or even being available to have something serious at the time this person probably lied about kids they had it's probably lied about a lot about a lot of things honestly but this person cannot stop thinking about you this is somebody who loves some material things so they may have a nice car nice place nice nice clothes they just like nice stuff this is somebody who also travels a lot as well and even if they don't travel a lot they just got you know nice taste honestly but this person here who they truly were from you this could have been a sexuality or this could have been the type of person they truly were which was a no good dirty dog honestly this is somebody who used you to distract themselves from their pain so they probably were in a relationship and they used you as a side person 
because they wasn't happy in their relationship and they needed to feel some type of something. But they fucked around and actually fell in love with you. And you did it. And they sitting around wishing that they could treat you, that they treated you better and they wishing that, you know, they were, you know, available for you, you know, to be able to show up for you in the right way. And now they just have to look at you from afar through social media. Hear about you through the grapevine. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. You only get one life. You better live it. And this person was trying to live it. And they end up leaving and losing something that was supposed to be in their life. Somebody who's attractive. Somebody who's passionate. Mentally, physically, intellectually. All around me, okay? See, they they left a Capricorn behind. Not knowing that a Capricorn is an onion. What you see is damn sure not what you get, baby. It's layers to a Capricorn. And it takes a little time to be able to just find out which each one stands for, which, which every stage is like. And some people don't have the patience because they're so used to one-dimensional people. And this person saw your other dimensions when they left they saw you evolving after they left they saw you changing for the better after they left and they just sitting around like damn i truly am missing out i truly slept on capricorn give me some love messages for my capricorns what's the current love messages for capricorn current love messages Yeah, right now, Capricorn, if you are talking to somebody new, you know, if you're currently in a relationship, you know, currently dating, this person that you're dating and talking to right now, this person is your soulmate. So, ain't no reason to be worried about the past. And that's probably why the past is so heavily on your ass now, because, it's like, they know that you're probably focused on somebody else. Happy, glowing, living life, doing better, striving for more, going after your goals. And they're just sitting back watching you, feeling all the pain of loss. Because, baby, the chemistry that you have on you, the aura that you exude, the pure liquid sex that you drip from your veins, the sensuality, the charisma, the way you love a person. How understanding you are to a person. How how hard you go for a person. How trustworthy and non-deceptive you can be to a person. And how quick you are ready to throw up them deuces to a motherfucker that ain't doing right. That ain't treating you right. That ain't loving you right. That ain't acting right. So you took all that good love back. Like that. And this person didn't understand didn't quite under, didn't talk, didn't quite think that that was even possible. This person thought they were the shit, but they weren't even a fart. Okay, okay. Mm. Let's see about my Capricorn singles. Give me some love messages for my Capricorn singles. Does this person that want to reconcile with you? For some of you all, they know. They already know that they know. Ain't no prying you up off of your new person. You are not looking back. You are not looking to the side. You are only looking at what's in front of you. And this person that wants you back is trying to get in front of you. They want to be seen. But it's too late. <laughs> New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for Capricorn singles. Yeah. Be careful if somebody coming into your life from the past an ex who was probably married before or you know it's getting out of a, a marriage or a long-term relationship or an engagement with somebody that you know they trust it but you cannot trust this person capricorn this person is going to try to come back to you very soon and deceive you in in hopes of you giving them another chance so when i say they're going to deceive you i mean they're going to come in you know 
pouring all this love into you, you know, telling you everything you want to hear, probably spending a lot of money on you, probably taking you places, you know, just buttering you up, you know, in hopes that, you know, you do soften up for this person to get into your pants, to get into your drawers, your panties. And once they get all they can get, then this person starts showing you that they're still trifling. You may not find out this person never got a divorce. They just separated. And now you a side piece again. Confirmation, because that's what they're going to do. They're going to be hiding somebody in order to get you. And once they got you, oh, baby, they can, they can let their hair down now. They can let their hair down. Because this person truly believes who, this is their thought process. I'm a God. Who's going to leave me? Who's going to find better than me? Not knowing that you are the God. A goddess, a God. And they won't find nobody like you. You were the blessing. You were the prize. Not them. Not them. Hmm. Yeah. Because this person, all they want is what's between your thighs. Yeah. You look good as fuck, Capricorn. And that's all they want. That's all they want. That's all they fucking want. It's some coochie and some dangling. And so they can go tell their homeboys and their homegirls all about it. Somebody who likes to brag. <laughs> A bragger. When they shouldn't really be bragging because honestly, I'm not picking up that they're really that great in the bedroom. It's you that's good in the bedroom. This person really thinks highly of themselves when they really shouldn't. People lie to this person. People are like yes men, yes women to this person. And it has made this person's ego huge for no reason. <laughs> because honestly, this person is completely damaged. And they have a hidden agenda, Capricorn. Be careful of people getting with you because of social status or because of certain things like small things like the way that you, you the way that you give head or some shit. Like this is somebody who just wants to get with you for a specific reason. Benefit. And once they're bored, disappoint you. Give me some more tea for Capricorn. Give me some more tea for Capricorn. Give me some more tea for Capricorn. Yeah, like I said, this person's also a secret secret escort. So, if example, somebody, imagine talking to somebody, right? You text them, ask them what they're doing. And then they hit you up on some, oh, my um client is about to leave in an hour. But they never specifically said what type of client. You may, you may know this person as somebody who does work on cars. They may even have their own business. But it's just... The way that they said it made you kind of think. The way that this person is just like has multiple people blowing up their phone, texting them throughout the day. Like, it just make you think. Okay? That's the secret that this person is holding. That they secretly be selling that dang. That thing, thing. And that meow, meow. Okay? This person is not your fate. Okay? And don't allow this person to make you feel like it is, their, it is your fate. Also, understand that. Your family fake Capricorn. All that key key shit. All that I'm proud of you shit. All that oh we're just checking in on you shit. All I hear is all that wah 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 wah. Bitch your time up. Save it baby. Fake love don't belong over here. Okay. Go sit your raggedy ass down. Anyway. This person that wants to come back into your life lacks luster, baby. They really born for real. They do so much. They put on such a show. Outfits, cars, trips, all this shit. But when you really are alone with them, they boring as hell. They don't add nothing. Nothing about them adds up. This is somebody who honestly genuinely uses people to feel better about themselves. They don't love themselves. They know they lack luster. They know they're dull. This is somebody who probably goes to the gym a lot. Or if they're a woman, you know, they probably keep themselves done up. 
It's because that's all they have to offer is looks. Because when you get to know this person, there are boring, dull, lame, not even that funny, just you cute for nothing. They're literally just, they're just cute for nothing. Attractive for nothing. Because that's all they got. That's all they got going for themselves. Cute. Handsome. That's it. Nothing more. Nothing less. That ain't enough. Let's see what your money gonna be looking like. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Angel messages for my Capricorns. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Capricorn, you may be going through emotional turmoil about your stability and your security. Don't worry. Just pick you up a side hustle as well as start budgeting more. And if you have some extra things to sell, let me sell it. If you know how to make clothes, let me make it. Go to... um. What's the place called? What's the place called, y'all? Michaels or um Home Goods. Get y'all some little um jackets and stuff, some little hoodies, some shirts, and y'all can y'all can iron on some uh stencils and sell you some shirts. Post it on Mar Facebook Marketplace. Post it on your Instagram and stuff. Five dollar t shirts. You can even make it even cuter. A a a a a or t and t. Ten dollar t shirts. I'm just throwing out options. I'm just I'm just spitballing here. I'm just spitballing here because you got good luck on your side and all things. So whatever you pour into, whatever you make, will bring you in a new beginning. Some money, okay. Some money, okay. I'm trying to tell you. Trying to let's get you a takeaway message. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for my Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Capricorn, today I need you to go outside and get you a little, you know, put, get a little walk, get a little walk in, you know, just get some fresh air. That's all, just a little fresh air. And to look around, Capricorn, understand that everybody is not. Everybody doesn't have it figured out. So allowing yourself to go into a depressive state because you may feel like that you're not going nowhere fast or you may feel like, you know, you're not where you want, want to be or you may feel like, you know, things are just not how you want them right now. Don't allow it. Don't, don't sink into a hole. Okay? Nobody has it figured out. Okay? Okay. Anyway, thank you Capricorn for sitting in here and watching this for me. I appreciated your, you know, your attention. Thank you so much. And I want to say thank you all for the love and support as well as the donations. Thank y'all so much for those. If you want to find me on social media or give me on a phone call for a personal reading, everything is in my description box below. Be careful of scammers out there pretending to be me on social media. Don't get got. Bye Capricorn. I love you. Mm -hmm.